What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing and talking about Huntsman Spiders. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the Huntsman species that I will be featuring throughout this video is Baralistus variatus, which is commonly referred to as a Cameroon Huntsman Spider. Now, these spiders will also go by the common name Cameroon Crab Spider as well. Many Huntsman Spiders will actually go by Crab Spiders. Now, this should not be confused with actual Crab Spiders because there is a family of spiders, the family Thomicity, which are commonly referred to as Crab Spiders. But then there are also Huntsman Spiders, which sometimes also go by Crab Spiders as well. But again, these are just common names. I know in a few of my videos I talked about the confusion of common names because many organisms get grouped the same exact common name, and this causes a bit of confusion within the animal kingdom and people trying to learn about them, but huntsman spiders are not within the crab spider family Thomicity. Huntsmans are in the family known as Sporacity. Oh, really quickly, she's <laughs> cleaning her pedipalps. So cute. Look at her. You can actually see her fangs a little bit as well. Look at those beautiful eyes. But anyway, huntsman spiders, they are within the family known as Sporacity. And within this family, there are over 1,300 different species of spiders within this particular family. So I have a question for you. When you hear of the name huntsman or huntsman spider, what continent do you usually associate that name with? Would it be Australia, most likely? It probably is, and the reason for that is because Australia is home to many, many different species of huntsman spider. Oh my gosh, she just jumped and I caught her with the other hand. Yes, Australia is home to many, many different species of huntsman spiders. But this isn't to say that huntsman spiders are exclusive to only Australia, because they are not. Believe it or not, huntsman spiders can be found on all continents except for Antarctica. And so where I live, I, I live in the US, we actually have huntsman spiders here. We don't have that many, but nonetheless, we, we do have some. Uh, North America in general, there are a total of nine different species of huntsman spiders, both in the US and also in Mexico as well. Also, too, the Cameroon Huntsman Spider, its name, Cameroon, is a country in Central Africa. So, you know, like I said, there's Huntsman Spiders on all continents except for Antarctica. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand colored them in, and then converted them into high-quality, long-lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Now going back to Australia and its connection to Huntsman Spiders, these spiders have become pretty well known due to people recording videos and posting them online of them trying to relocate these spiders out of their homes. Uh, so they kind of, you know, have gone viral due to that. People will use cups and other containers to kind of trap them to, you know, bring them back outside. <laughs> but they usually fail an attempt to do so due to huntsmen's being incredibly fast and agile these spiders as you could already see uh, have some pretty fast reflexes you know lightning abilities to kind of teleport wherever they want <laughs> and so people trying to trap these spiders they usually you know the spiders usually run away and people get scared and 
So that kind of segues into what I wanted to talk about next is the venom of these spiders. So due to these spiders being incredibly fast and with some species being fairly large, many people have kind of, you know, associated them to being quote unquote dangerous and harmful to humans. The truth of the matter is that although all huntsman spider species have venom, their venom is fairly mild and extremely, extremely non-life-threatening when it comes to humans. If you're an insect, then yeah, you should be very fearful of these spiders. But since as a viewer you were watching, you are a human being, there is nothing to fear about the venom of these spiders. The most that you'll suffer is some minor swelling, some irritation, redness, itchiness for maybe a couple days and then the symptoms will subside. But these spiders contain no life-threatening venom whatsoever. It's fairly weak. <laughs> Now you might have noticed the body of huntsman spiders. Their bodies are particularly very flat and that is because these spiders are well adapted to going into small, narrow, tight crevices where they lie and wait for prey to come by. And so once prey kind of steps within their radius, they ambush them and sink their fangs and inject venom into them. Now, huntsman spiders, for the most part, feed predominantly on insects, but for some of the larger species, you may have seen videos or pictures of them online feeding on small rodents such as mice. This isn't necessarily out of the ordinary when it comes to many spider species. Many large bodied spiders have a history of feeding on vertebrate prey such as mice, some feed on small reptiles and amphibians. So, you know, when it comes to huntsmen's preying and feeding on mice, this is nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, although it is very interesting and a very cool behavior when a spider feeds on something that is not a small insect. Um, but yeah, huntsmen spiders if given the opportunity and if they are of a large stature they will definitely feed on small prey such as mice all right well that is going to conclude today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a few things about huntsman spiders if you have any questions about huntsman spiders or just anything in general that you want to ask me please feel free to leave it in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.